Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome here to Under Armour Pro Series testing from Auto Club. A lot of these cars are getting tested as these are new bodies, new chassis. The old Gen 1 car used to run here and they used to run about 220, 230. And those things used to buy them out a ton of guys would almost crash them. But now this new body and new, new basically everything, the driver is more, you can see, more to the center. He's actually more over next to the door, but there's a lot of door, there's a lot of foam and padding around where the driver sits. So when he, if he was to take a big shot in the driver's side door, there's a lot of padding over there now compared to how it used to be where there was hardly anything and just steel. As you can see, there's Jessica Kinghart. Making her debut in in Under Armour Pro. I think a lot of the guys are making some debuts. Carl Johnson, a lot of Silver Series names popping up here in the Under Armour Pro Series. There's Oreo Pollard, former former winner and sportsman for Pollard Performance Incorporated. He'll be in that car all season long. Ryan Swan, former driver at Roush Racing, back in the number six. See that nose and everything bouncing. Tim Brooks Jr. I think a lot of people have been watching his uh, high school career. But he's here tonight at Auto Club. Driving this number 33 car. He's not going to be full time in this ride. It's just for this test. He's in this 33 car. You got Joseph Curtis. The fastest right now. Around Auto Club Speedway, he is the uh, the newer, the newest and youngest, of the Curtis couple, the Curtis family. He's the youngest cousin. There's Brian Lorenzo, Lorenzo, Lorenzo. Lar Larizon, yeah, I think it's Lorenzo, Lorenzo, and the number seventeen, Sunny D Ford Fusion, and then there's Philip Parker behind him. Phil Parker last season drove this number four, but drove it in Sportsman last season and made like two races, and he moved down under our pro. To see if he had a shot to you know maybe upgrade, and that car is a little bit faster. Or Sam Curtis and the number 43. Everybody calls him Sudden Sam, 24th quickest right now. There's Audra Barnowskis, truck driver last season. Never really made a Silver Series or a a uh, Sportsman Series race. Was a truck driver, an IndyCar driver. Now. Here in the Under Armour Pro Series, there's Hans Devis. There's Cliff Williams, former sportsman driver. Jack Legacy, here in the 34. Currently 23rd quickest. You got Eric Monaco. Stephen Thompson. Lily Murphy. Zach King. This is a Robbie Jackson Incorporated machine running part time. Or running full time this season with Zach King on board. There's Chase McDowell. David Diaz. David's only in this car for testing. He's not in it for uh, anything else. It's just this test. This is a Hernandez Motorsports machine. Hernandez Motorsports of Hendrick. Still got that couple entwined. Hendrick Motorsports is still supplying Hernandez Motorsports with engines and chassis. For knowledge and help over there. Because you've seen the Hernandez guys. They uh, completely raised the bar last season. There's Keith Stevens in the 16. Jack James. There's DJ Curtis. Making his return to Team SB Wood Brothers. Today, though, he's in the practice car for the Under Armour Pro Series. Behind him is Franz Device, and then there's Derek Edison, 
Luis Hernandez, current fastest car on the racetrack, and number five. This is this is a car that's going to be shared by a lot of the full throttle guys. This team SB Wood Brothers, the 21, is going to be shared all season between Eric, DJ, and Dylan. And this five is going to be shared between Luis, David Diaz, Joy Murphy, and Alan Matthews all season long. So that car, those cars are going to get shared. There's Tim Randolph in the 44, moving over to Petty. And we're three wide here. Keith Stevens, Jack James, and I think it's Hans or Franz device. Here comes DJ Curtis. To maybe make this four wide. Oh, off the corner there, really slow. Keith Stevens getting a good lap in. Put some fourteenth on the board. Derek Edison P four. We're gonna pop up our ticker. Of times you can see who the fastest cars are. Looks like looks like Franz Device and Luis Hernandez are the top two. Then it's Joseph Curtis and then Derek Edison. And then Cliff Williams, Stephen Thompson, Oreo Pollard, David Diaz, Chase McDowell, and then Cliff Williams. So you can see there's some sportsman names, but some sportsman big sportsman teams really up here. Ford Performance. And Hernandez Motorsports setting up there. Eric Monaco. Monaco's are going to share this car this season. And I think it's good that you can see like guys like Carl Johnson get some shots and some big big name rides. Joseph Curtis, though, is probably the so shocker. Here in this 47. This car probably was not on a lot of people's radars. And they probably wondered why Joseph didn't go to Petty. And it was because Joseph talked to DJ right before almost signing with Petty. And DJ said, you know, I've raced there. It's cool to race. It's cool to race with your cousins. But it's also cool to win races and championships. And so that's why I guess DJ put the... The foot forward, maybe for uh, for Joseph to go to the forty-seven team, or maybe he was trying to get him in this twenty-one car. <laughs> but uh, DJ here, though, in practice right now or in testing, fly around. There's only thirty cars here for testing. Ten cars. There's 10 spots open for the Mud Summer National here for Under Armour Pro. That's the thing, though. Next season, Under Armour Pro will start running what sportsmen ran, and sportsmen will become longer races because a lot of the drivers and sportsmen were wanting to bring pit stops back into the mix. So the Mud Summer Nationals this season... It's going to be 100 laps in the Sportsman Series. 50 here in Under Armour Pro. But also Under Armour Pro is going to have pit stops. The tires, they're using softer tires, softer compounds. And they have to run a lower, a smaller fuel tank in these Under Armour Pro cars. Sportsman also thinking about that, maybe keeping the races the same thing. That's a top. That's a topic in the garage, is to either keep it the same, or uh, or go up with a longer race where they would have to, you know, use all the fuel out of the car. But uh, it's either dropping them down. So right here, this would be the end right now. DJ Curtis has ran 20 laps. This would be the end of the sportsman race. For DJ Curtis. Uh, or the Yonder Armour Pro race this season. I'm riding on board here with the Liftmaster Chevrolet. And it's almost. And this is all this is all the time we have, folks. 
Ooh, almost contact. We got a car up against the wall. Two of them. Brian Lanzaria. Oh, man, he has destroyed that number 17 Ford. As, as the red flag is out in testing, more than likely due to this crash. Sam Curtis goes under him and just gave him a slight bump and then gets right into Franz the, or Hans the Vice. And Hans is destroyed and, and Brian is also pretty torn up. I mean, the 43 and the 9 are teammates. Just, you can see the... Like, it was just a subtle bump. Like, I don't know. I think Brian may have ran this thing out of gas into one. You can see the 13 blow by. You can see the speed differentials. And the 43 just gave him a bump. I think he was out of gas. But the red flag is out. And we will see you guys in a, whenever the sign-ups are completely closed here for Under Armour Pro. Ten cars remain. As uh, like we said, they're coming all coming down Pitler Road. You can see they've all stopped on the racetrack, actually, where they're at. So, until we meet again, everybody, in just a couple of weeks when we head to Eldor for the Mud Summer Nationals.